How's it going everyone? I bought myself a new lens. Today, I'm gonna go and use it. Once again, I'm coming to you from Albany, beautiful southwest of Western Australia. Uh, I've come to a place called Sharp Point, which is, it sits sort of on a, yeah, on some cliffs overlooking the Southern Ocean. It's beautiful here, beautiful. It's been a pretty, kind of a stormy day today, but the, uh, the sky, the clouds, they're clearing up just a bit. So I'm just, I'm hoping, hoping that we're gonna get a nice little bit of light this evening. Uh, time will tell. I think this is now the third time I've been back here. Uh, I have tried to film a video before I started off and right where I'm standing, which is pretty much right where I want or where I wanted to, still want to take a shot. A uh, couple of people turned up and plonked themselves right down here where I want to shoot. Would you believe it? A couple of people just turned up and sat exactly where I was going to shoot. Uh, I'm hoping that doesn't happen again today. So uh, fingers crossed, we'll see how we go. So I've been shooting with a Sony, Sony mirrorless camera for, I guess, close to a year now. Um, and in all of that time, I've been shooting just with one lens, the uh, Tamron 28 to 75. That's the one and only lens I picked up with my camera, an A7R3 when I got it. Um, I moved up from a, a Nikon D7000, which was getting pretty old. I'm still shooting with an eight year old eight or nine year old DSLR, so I think it's nearly time for an upgrade. It was a good trusty camera, but it was getting pretty old, so it was time to upgrade. Decided to make the switch, and yeah, so just in the last, not long, maybe month, I've finally picked up a second lens for my camera, and I've gone for the, like the little brother, little sister, little cousin, maybe? I don't know, they're related. The Tamron 17 to 28. So it's a nice wide angle, is it an ultra wide? I guess so. Uh, nice wide angle lens, and it's really, really good to be shooting with a wide angle lens again. Uh, the size of this thing is awesome, um, you know, in keeping with the, with the, I guess, the approach that Tamron's taking with these lenses, keeping them nice and small and lightweight, really, really fits or complements the form factor well of the uh, of the A7 series. As far as the build quality goes, like it's fine as far as I'm concerned. It's not the most hefty lens that you'll use, but it's not meant to be given that, you know, or given the, the approach that Tamron seem to be taking with these lenses being nice and small and portable. Um, like it doesn't feel too cheap or too, you know, too fragile or anything. So yeah, build quality is is fine as far as I'm concerned. The kind of shot that I'm going to try and get today, uh, as you can see, I'm perched up uh, nice and nice and high on this cliff here, and the coast just sort of sweeps around that way, around to the left. So I'm going to try and get up nice and close to something in the foreground. It's kind of just the tail end of, of wildflower season down here. So there's a few nice colorful flowers around. I'll see if I can find some nice foreground interest. Hopefully the light is going to happen. And then, um, and then, yeah, I'll try and uh, try and compose a shot, get something decent. We'll see how that goes. The focal length is good. 17 millimeters is as wide as it goes. I really don't think I'm losing much compared to, you know, say a 16, 16 mil, which a lot of other wide-angle lenses are. And then. At the tight end, uh, 28 millimeters, which again, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't go as tight as a lot of other, um, a lot of other wide-angle zooms. But whenever I'm using a lens like this, I'm almost always using it really wide, if not at its widest. So I'm not really too worried that it can't get too much tighter or any tighter than 28 millimeters. Uh, it uses the same filter size, I think 67 millimeter, like front filter thread. 
that my other lens, the 28 to 75, uses. So, um, you know, same size filters, same size, same size adapter rings, you're good to go. So the sun has just dropped below some clouds. Uh, there's more cloud on the horizon, so currently it's in a bit of a gap. I'm going to get moving. I'm going to start shooting while there's some nice light happening because I don't, I don't know how long it's going to last, and I don't think we'll get a uh, get a nice sunset tonight. So I'm going to make use of this light while I have it. <laughs> So, so I think that's the last of the light. Uh, it was, it was kind of nice there for a little bit. The sunset, you know, sunset is still a little way away, but a whole lot of cloud out there. Fingers crossed, but I don't think anything else is going to happen. Uh, I did fire off, you know, a few shots, found a few different compositions. It's pretty hard. I don't know. I find it pretty hard to tell on the back of a camera when you're just scrambling around in a place like this with the wind and and, you know, rushing, rushing against the light. Um, hopefully they'll work out. Uh, but yeah, look, this spot, nicely suited for a wide angle lens. Just a few little things up here to get nice and close to in the foreground, uh, which is, uh, yeah. So look, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm hopeful some of those shots might've worked out. All right, the light has well and truly gone. There is now zero chance of there being any more sunlight. No sunset tonight. That's okay though, these things happen. Uh, on top of that, I think maybe the rain is on the way and you know what that means. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Thank you, thank you very much for watching as always. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to hit the little subscribe link down there somewhere. Uh, chuck this video a like if you want to and yeah until next time I'll see you later oh battery's running out better go see ya one more one more one more one more that is bad that is very very bad no that's crap that again so the kind of shit bad for no Fucking hell. not very good at this today it's been a pleasure Hope you've enjoyed it.